A three-day hike to a spectacular wilderness area, the Kosciuszko National Park, where dense regrowth forests and wild rivers cascade rapidly down from their source. We rock hop up the Gangalan River and walk across alpine meadows and through swamp and bogs to the splendid Bathyrium Plains. Then rock hop and scramble Bandara Creek that feeds onto the Yukonbean River to explore dramatic waterfalls and cascades. We begin near the confluence of the Snowy River and Gangalan River, rock hopping upstream till we go past the Gangalan Weir, part of the Snowy Hydro Scheme, then follow its banks until we reach the Bothyrian Plains, where we will set up camp. The Gangalan River, with its source in the Manyad Range at an elevation of 1,660 metres, drops down to 1,050 metres at its confluence with the Snowy River, a total of 606 metres over its 31 kilometre course. Upstream of the Gangalan Weir, we can appreciate the river in its natural setting as we observe it from the shore. No more rock hopping, and in some cases, we are forced up to higher ground to be able to continue.
We have counted quite a few groups of Brumbies with some groups having as many as a dozen horses, all up between 60 to 80 that we can appreciate as they're staying on the other side of the creek a couple of hundred metres away, keeping an eye on us. On our second day, we follow the Pretty Pot Trail, the north track through Light Scrub to Pretty Jim Creek for a few hundred metres till it joins Bandara Creek for hopefully spectacular cascades and waterfalls. As this section is mainly exploratory, we hope that the steep gradient that Bandara Creek faces before it joins the Eukenbean River will yield some great waterfalls. We have morning tea and we spot a large black snake heading down to the creek and then we immediately come to our first major cascade. As things are looking up we spot a short distance later our first major waterfall.
As we climb higher, we have a bird's eye view of this amazing creek rushing down to meet the Yukonbean River. We take another break beside the creek and look up at the vertical wall that we've had to negotiate. As the rock face closes in, the views of the creek are sensational from above. This is our exit point. We only have to get over this vertical ledge, go down the creek to cool down and water up, then head back straight up to the top of the hill and locate the Pretty Pot Trail, which we will follow back to our tents. Unfortunately, as we took our shirts and wet them to cool down, mine was swept away by the strong current and shirtless, I ran downstream to try and find it. Stephen jumped in the creek looking for it. Any excuse to cool down. I found it downstream, caught in a branch in the middle of the creek, and with a stick I retrieved it. Another great story to tell. What a fantastic day! Great waterfalls, exposed cliff faces and was almost left shirtless. It was a fantastic sight to spot our tents, have a brew and chat over what we have gone through. Third and final day, as the dingoes howl late into the night and the Brumbies race up and down the plain, we will head back, not downstream, but up to the top of Hill 1537 with wonderful views all the way to the snowy river and beyond. Then climb down a steep descent of 400 metres to the creek, then back up on the other side to a spur and find the fire trail back to our cars.
That's it guys, five meters. Yeah, I heard. <laughs>